Hello and welcome to the third video of the Crypto Challenge Contest of our YouTube channel. I structured this video into different parts. In the first part I will introduce the contest. In the second part I will show you the participation and winning rules. In the third part I will show you the solutions of last week's ciphers and I will also show you how you can solve the ciphers with Crypto2. In the fourth part I will show you the current best list of solvers. And finally I will give you the new cipher text of this week's challenge. This is the first Crypto Challenges contest of this channel and this is the third video. You can win one of two copies of Gain's book Cryptanalysis, a study of ciphers and their solution, sponsored by me. On the right side you can see a photo of these two books. Keep in mind that these are used, so these are not brand new, but they are still nice. All you have to do is to break the cipher text, send the solutions via email, see below, and of course collect points. And please send your solutions via email to crypto2 at gmx.net and use as subject solutions to challenge video 3. Now we have the participation and winning rules and you probably know these from the last two videos. Our contest is in no way connected to or sponsored by YouTube, Google or Facebook. And everyone who is no Cryptool team member is allowed to participate so you don't need to be a subscriber of our channel or our Facebook page. But of course, as already, I would be really happy if you subscribe to our channel. Participation is for free. To win points, you have to send the complete plain text of a cipher text. You have to also send a pseudonym, which is used for a best list of solvers, as you will see on one of the later slides. At the end of the contest, we will delete all personal data, meaning names and email addresses. The winners have to send their postal addresses, thus I am able to send the books. And the pseudonym will remain in the best list shown in my videos. And each solution of a cipher text gives points. We have different difficulty levels from easy to hard. Easy gives you one point, easy medium gives you two points, medium gives you three points and hard cipher text gives you five points. The solver on the first place of the best list will a copy of the gains book. And if there are multiple solvers on the first place, meaning that they have the same number of points, the winner will be chosen randomly from these. The second winner of a book will be selected randomly. But the more points you have, the higher is the chance to win the second book. So everyone has a chance to win a book. The winners will be announced in the last of the challenge videos. I already said here in the last videos I will make about four to five challenge videos, but I decided that I will make four videos. So in the next week you will get the last cipher videos with the last cipher text. And the week after that I will announce the winners and show you the final solutions of the next video. The contest started with the first video of the 14th of August 2020 and will last four weeks. Solutions of the last cipher text are always shown in the next video, about one week later. That means a solution may be sent only before the release of the next video. And of course the basic idea of the contest is having fun with solving crypto challenges. Here I now show you the solutions of the last week's cipher texts and after that I show you how you could have solved these using Crypto2. The solution of the first cipher text is Freemasonry consists of fraternal organizations that trace their origins to the fraternities of stonemasons that regulated the qualifications of stonemasons. The solution of the second cipher text is Polygraphic substitution is a cipher in which a uniform substitution is performed on blocks of letters. The solution of the third text is Blaise de Vigenier was a French diplomat, cryptographer, translator and alchemist. The solution of the fourth cipher text is William Frederick Friedman was a US Army cryptographer who ran the research division of the Army Signal Intelligence Service. The solution of the fifth message was Fritz Nebel was a German intelligence officer who served as a lieutenant in the Army during World War I and as an officer in the Air Force during World War II. And the solution of the sixth cipher text is the Playfair cipher or Playfair square or Wheatstone Playfair cipher is a manual symmetric encryption technique and was the first literal diagram substitution cipher. The scheme was invented by Charles Wheatstone and named after Playfair. Now let's have a look at Crypto2 how I actually solve the original cipher texts. I'm here now in Crypto2 and I want to show you how you can solve the cipher text of the last week's challenge. Our first cipher text was a pick band cipher from the Freemasons. To cryptanalyze this you first have to make a transcription and we know that a pick pen cipher is a simple monoalphabetic substitution. 
I have now my transcription copied in the clipboard and I open the monoalphabetic substitution analyzer. We have here the monoalphabetic substitution analyzer template. I just paste the ciphertext that I have in the clipboard into the input of the ciphertext of the template. Then I change the monoalphabetic substitution analyzer settings from hill climbing to dictionary and genetic attack and I press play. And then we see here Freemasonry consists of fraternal organizations, a trace and so on. The second ciphertext is a little more difficult to analyze since it's a polygraphic cipher, meaning that our ciphertext symbols consist of more than one letters. We first have to change this to single letters that we can analyze it with the monoalphabetic substitution analyzer. To do so, I use a template called homophonic substitution cipher and nomenclature decryption. Then I paste the ciphertext here. And then I change this here so we don't need all the other symbols. We only need the alphabet. And then I remove this here. Now I press play. As you can see, we do not see anything. Since what is this here doing now? It replaces nothing with A, nothing with B, nothing with C, and so on, and it removes everything it doesn't know. And now I start to insert the ciphertext symbols here one by one to make, you can say, another transcription. So we have here 20, then we have 19, we have 11, and we can make easier when we use the substitution component here and say we don't want to remove unknown symbols, we want to leave them as is. Since then we see the symbols which we do not or did not yet replace by Latin letters. So the next one is 35, then we have 15 and so on. And I replace every single digraph with a Latin letter. We have now a problem here that we have still remaining the three and the four here. So we have a symbol missing here. To make it easier, we can just add commas between each of these bigrams. So I just make a comma here. And I replace the space by zero, zero. back to crypto 2 and then I can change here input separator symbol to a comma and then I can change here space is zero zero and now we see the 33 is missing And we have a problem here. So we have a yellow message and it tells us here, we make just an A, B, C, C. And here we see in the log that a substitution for 14 and 23 already exist. 14 and 23. So we have here 14 and 23 two times. And now we have a nice transcription from bigrams here to single Latin letters. Now we can copy this ciphertext here, can go to the start center, search for 
Monoalphabetic Substitution Analyzer, paste our ciphertext, change this again to Dictionary in Genetic, press play, and then we see Polygraphic Substitution is a cipher in which a uniform substitution is performed, oh, I missed a space here, on blocks, and I missed a space here, of letters. Now we have our third ciphertext, and in the last video I told you that you probably don't know which type of ciphers these ciphers have, so you have to perform cryptanalysis before you can break the cipher and to identify the type of the cipher. In this video here now, I assume that we already know the type of ciphers we did this, and I now show you how you can break the third ciphertext. And the third ciphertext is a visionaire cipher. So I go to visionaire analysis, paste my ciphertext here, and press play. And then we see here, Blaise de Visionnaire was a French diplomat, cryptographer, translator, and alchemist, and the key is auto key cipher. I have now the fourth ciphertext, which seems to be a transposition cipher. So we open the transposition analyzer template, and we use the transposition brute force analysis, paste our ciphertext. So your next keyword length 9, cost function is log 2 n-grams, and then we press play. This takes some time. And we see here, William Frederick Friedman was a US Army cryptographer who ran the research division of the Army Signal Intelligence Service. Now we have our next cipher text, which is an ADFGBX cipher text. So I open the ADFGBX heuristic analysis. Then I paste our cipher text here. I change the key length. So you don't know the key length here, so you have to test to find the correct key length. And I think the correct key length was 5. So let's give it a try. So we have here the ADFGVX analyzer, which analyzes our message. And I made a mistake here. So I shouldn't use German, I should use English. So restart it. So we have here the ADFGVX analyzer, which breaks the first part of the ADFGVX cipher the transposition, and then we have the monoalphabetic substitution analyzer who breaks the second part. And this was not the correct one. Let's test this one. It's also not correct. This one. I also have to change this here to English. Climbing and English. Let's try it again. First text. Doesn't seem right. That also is not right. Let's try key length six. Yeah, it was key length 6. Or you can just open the Playfair cipher template, insert our text here, change the Playfair to decrypt, and just remove the key. And then in the ciphertext you see here, the Playfair cipher or Playfair square and so on. So there was a trick with this challenge which enabled you to solve this challenge really fast since we used only a standard alphabet as a key for the Playfair cipher. 
But nevertheless, the Playfair Analyzer template should also find that correct plain text here, but this takes a lot of time. I'm here now back in the slides of the video, and now I want to show you the best list of solvers so far. We again have four different people on the first place in the challenge. So we have Silver, Hamatan, Victor, and Naga on the first place. Then we have B. L. Dredge on the fifth place. We have Toasty on the sixth place. We have 10 Miles from Nowhere on the seventh place. And we have Nerds N and Viola on the eighth place. Now I want to give you the new ciphertexts of this week. We have seven ciphertexts. And before I show you the ciphertexts, some remarks. The type of the used cipher is not given only with hard ciphers. But of course, as always, the difficulty level is given. And you have to copy the cipher text from the video, but the texts are so short that it's not too difficult tedious. And in the real world, you also have to make a transcription on your own. The difficulty level will vary. In this video, we have easy to hard difficulty. If we will have longer text, I will provide transcriptions. In this video, I will give you some of the cipher texts in the description of this video. In the future, videos may also have some modern cryptology related challenges. This is not true for this challenge series, but maybe in the future I will make a new challenge series with modern ciphers. And this third video contains seven cipher texts, one easy, one easy medium, three medium and two hard. So you can gain this week a maximum of 22 points. And now I will show you each cipher text 30 seconds. You can make a transcription on your own. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for participating in this contest. It's a lot of fun making these ciphertexts and it's cool that we have several people who solved these ciphertexts. And I wish everyone luck to win the book. And if you did not yet subscribe to our channel, I would be really happy if you do so. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up.